हेलो आई एम योर होस्ट एंड दोस्ट डॉक्टर आशीष चौहान कंसल्टेंट फिजिशियन फ्रॉम अपोलो हॉस्पिटल सिकंदराबाद आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग इन फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स टुडे वांट्स टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट समथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेटेड टू डायबिटीज एंड एक्चुअली बीटिंग अनकंट्रोल डायबिटीज विद गुड ग्लूकोज कंट्रोल what is uncontrolled diabetes now this is a very tough question to answer because you can have uncontrolled diabetes that means high sugars without any symptoms at all now to simplify it if you have a fasting sugar which is more than 126 or any time a random blood sugar which is more than 200 we believe it's an uncontrolled diabetes so about the symptoms of diabetes you can be absolutely asymptomatic or you can be having increased thirst increased hunger or increased urination primarily in medical language we call it as a polyuria polydipsia polyphagia that means you will have lots and lots of thirst you may lose weight or you may even gain weight but primarily losing weight is a feature of uncontrolled sugar Going to the loo or pass having lots and lots of urination can be because of diabetes. If you have a wound which is not healing, check sugars first. So keep checking sugars if you happen to have a wound which is not healing more than 5 days. Non-healing wound is one of the most important feature of diabetes, but that does not keep you away from checking sugars even when you do not have symptoms. Remember this always. We need to beat diabetes. We are the diabetic capital of the world and I'm not happy to accept that. Symptoms of diabetes if we need to discuss. Out of our experience which we have seen, we've had people coming to emergency with heart attack, paralysis, kidney failure and in the very serious condition and that day they got to know that they have a diabetes. Please don't be one like that. Check your sugars before it is too late. And that's why beat the diabetes with regular checkup and proper glucose monitoring is what you need to remember if you have a family member who has got a diabetes. Now, who is at risk factor for getting diabetes? If you are overweight, check your sugars. If you have a family history of diabetes, even if you are healthy and lean, check your sugars. If you have any kind of uneasiness symptoms, and if you're a diabetic, check your sugars because diabetics are prone to have high sugars most of the times, and five to ten percent have a low sugars because of various reasons. Diabetes is on the four pillars. What are those four pillars? Fasting blood sugar, PPBS. HbA1c and GV what we call it is glycemic variability and all these things are based on whether your sugars have been controlled over the spread of 3 months or so so being a glucose vigilance is very important check your sugars regularly as a practicing diabetologist i have tell, told this to my all my patients if you have a diabetes i want you to live for 100 years how do i do that check sugars 100 times in a year is it sounding very much it's only twice in a week check sugars twice in a week and live longer and happier and smarter and that's where you need to have a smart glucometer with you and this is what is the key point for you to remember you want to gift your parents something this anniversary or this birthday you must gift them a glucometer blood pressure machine because that is what will help them to live longer and healthier that's an advice from your doctor i hope this makes sense to you check your sugars regularly maintain a register of it and bring it to your doctor as a doctor if i see the fluctuations at home i can manage your sugars well and which will make sure that you do not get hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia both things are dangerous hypoglycemia that is low sugars any time sugars are less than 70 is hypoglycemia which can be dangerous life threatening and hyperglycemia sugars more than 200 and that 
would damage your end organs. What are the end organs which get damaged? Is your heart, brain, kidney and eyes. So remember this tip. Check your sugars regularly. Make a record of it. Bring it to your doctor. Saved. Yes, unko save karna hai na. Saved is what you need to remember. S-A-V-E-D. S is for SMBG. Self-monitoring of blood glucose. A is for anti-diabetic drug. Jo ki aapko regularly leni hai. V is for vaccinations. Jo bhi doctor aapko batai. E is for exercise and D is for diet. S-A-V-E-D. SMBG. Anti-diabetic drug, vaccinations, exercise and diet. I hope this acronym will save you, will save the whole world. Now final take home message for each one of you. Everything in this technological era is in your hands. Be smart. Get monitored regularly. Get measured regularly so that you get to become the master of your diabetes just by being smarter. So have a sugar machine or a glucometer at your home and definitely one at the workplace. Stay happy, healthy and smiling always. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.